I'm back with another one of my little new segments. This is something new that I'm trying out. And this is in response to the two big news stories that dropped today. And that is concerning the revelation of the Wolverine, the third Wolverine movie title, and the revelation that Suicide Squad will be receiving an extended cut. I'll cover the Suicide Squad first because that's just the one that stuck out more to me. Let me just say, I called this the minute that David Ayer revealed the, uh, that, uh, the deleted scenes that he had cut from that movie. A little bit of preface, the director, David Ayer, after the movie was released, stated that there was a butt-ton of uh, deleted scenes that from the movie that involved, I believe one of them was Jai Courtney's character, Captain Boomerang, was revealed to be like a serious racist, and something about Slipknot being an, a major pedophile. A lot of dark, nasty shit that would have seriously fucked up the overall kid-friendly tone that DC was going for. And now, thanks to all the negative press, plus all of the um, money that they stand to make from it, they are doing the same thing that they did with Batman vs. Superman. But let me tell you guys something. There is a chance, I said this from the beginning, to make a good movie from Suicide Squad. There is an opportunity. Would the movie have its problems? Absolutely. But if you get rid of all those stupid pop song shitty intros from the beginning, actually form a cohesive linear story, give the supporting characters a little bit more to work with, make the ensemble work really, Make a good story. Don't try to appeal to millennials like the movie did. They have a chance. But Warner Brothers won't do that because they only want to make a profit out of this. So what are they going to do instead? They're going to add in all the deleted scenes. Maybe shave one pop song intro. And overall, we're just going to get stuck with the same thing that we got stuck with with BVS. Which is an even longer version of a shitty movie. Really wasn't improved. All the problems that all the viewers had were still there. And only answered a few of the problems, it made it ebb and flow a little bit more. So if it does that for Suicide Squad, it'll be- But again, this is another example of DC shooting themselves in the foot because this is the second time they're doing this. This is the second time they're releasing an extended cut on Blu-ray and DVD a couple months after the theatrical release after their initial movie got negative reviews. But when, and I'm saying when, not if this time, this is the second time. So when it happens with Wonder Woman, and Justice League, where it's a shitty theatrical cut that gets a lot of bad views but makes a lot of money, they're going to release another version a couple months later, and that'll be their strategy going forward, is shitty version in theater, supposed good version a couple months later on DVD, and then they just end up taking home money and the audience gets to suffer twice. And us idiots will keep going to watch it, because we keep wanting to believe that DC's going to be good. And they're never going to be. I mean, I would say, oh, DC's got Jeff Johns, he's the new Kevin Foggy, they're all good. Nope, because guess what? Guess what other earlier DC attempted release Jeff Johns was behind? A little movie in 2011 called Green Lantern. We all saw how that turned out. But on to a more positive note that brings me much more hope, and that is from the studio that has had a little bit more success with their superhero movies than DC and Warner Brothers, and that is 20th Century Fox, as they tweeted out today, not only a poster for the third Wolverine movie, but also a caption, finally revealing the official title for the movie, which I was surprised, it's a lot simpler, and it's just entitled Logan. That's right. The name of the third Wolverine movie is... Wolverine's name. It's a good little homage to an actor and a character that has been with us for 17 years. You really got to admire the amount of time and effort Hugh Jackman has put into this role because let me tell you, playing a character for 17 years, he's played that role longer than any other actor has played any superhero role. Like Robert Downey Jr. has only been doing eight years as Iron Man and Ryan Reynolds has only done it twice within six years with Deadpool. So Hugh Jackman, he, you gotta admire the guy. Like I am, I'm like, I just hope that this movie is good. I had my problems with the Wolverine, but it wasn't awful as not nearly as bad as X-Men Origins, but this movie's gonna be rated R. I have faith in Mangold. He is a good director. He's given us a lot of good movies and I'm really excited to see, I'm also really sad to see the Claude Mutant finally go out. He's been the star of the franchise since it started with arguably the first big mainstream kid-friendly superhero movie. And it's just, it, it really is the end of an era. And it was part of my childhood. I'm, I'm going to be sad to see him go. And this kind of a title, it's a really, it's a really peaceful, kind of actually almost beautiful um, tribute to a character that has been entertaining people for so long. Almost ironic that, you know, it's such a beautiful 
uh, goodbye to such a violent character. All right, that's it. That is the news coverage for today. Uh, pretty big stuff. I uh, can't wait to do a little bit more of these uh, new segments. Don't worry. I'm going to try and make them shorter. They've been dragging on a little bit. So comment, subscribe, tweet at me. Let me know about the Suicide Squad extended cut and the final Wolverine poster. Um, follow me on Twitter at Movie Nerd Review. Go to my website, movienerdreviews.com. That's it. I'll see you guys next time.